Azure Energy, Southern Arizona. Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Cullip. Walden Groves football team hosted Desert View tonight in Sawarita in a makeup game because COVID-19 has wreaked havoc into the schedules for both schools. It was some Friday football fever action on a Monday as the boys from Sawarita were hoping to stay unbeaten. Senior linebacker Sebastian Adamski was hoping to rile up Walden Grove, but Desert View came to play. In the second quarter, Ryan Corral will hand the ball off to Isaac Ramirez, and Ramirez will be booking it all the way to the end zone. The boys from the Sunnyside Unified School District will take a 28-14 lead. Walden Grove got the ball back, and Jason Stevens is about to hit Duncan Hoover, and Duncan's going to break a tackle and push his way forward for a first down. After that, Jason Stevens is about to roll out, and he will find, guess who? Once again, Duncan Hoover. Duncan will make the catch before he slides out of bounds. First down and one play later, Stevens is about to be swarmed by Desert View's defense, but somehow he gets away. He will scramble his way away and seems to be in the clear, but no, no, no. Julian Rios is there to make the interception. Rios is 6'4", weighs 245 pounds and comes up big. And on the last play of the half, Ryan Corral will flick it out to Isaac Ramirez and after a stiff arm right here, he will break off a nice run to end the half. In the end, Desert View wins big. Final score, 56 to 20. Hey, the season opening basketball matchup at McHale Center between the U of A and NAU, originally set for this Wednesday, has been canceled because of the coronavirus. A statement released by the Arizona Athletics Program said the game was canceled because of a positive COVID-19 case within Northern Arizona University's basketball team. Both programs say they will work together to make up the game this season if the possibility exists. So now that means the 2020-21 season opener for the men's basketball team at the U of A will be Friday against Grambling State. Arizona freshman guard Kerr Creesa still hasn't been cleared to play basketball this season at the U of A because of some transfer formalities. So coach Sean Miller has given him permission to head home to Estonia to suit up for his native country's national team. Creesa will play in Russia and North Macedonia at the end of November for FIBA qualifiers. Then come back right here to the old Pueblo. All right. Keeping it in the old Pueblo, the South Point High School volleyball squad is still celebrating a state title. And a congrats is in order to the Lady Lancers, who over the weekend knocked off a number one seat from Scottsdale, Notre Dame Prep. And the comeback win to take home the fifth set, South Point also ended Notre Dame Prep's hopes of a perfect, unbeaten 18-0 season. This is the third 4A state title in the last five years for the girls from Tucson, who finished the season with 18 wins and just two losses. As the Arizona Wildcat football team preps for its 6 p.m. game this Saturday against UCLA, there's lots to improve upon after being blown out by the Washington Huskies over the weekend. And at today's Mondays with Sumlin press conference, Arizona's coach took responsibility for the nine game losing streak. The Wildcats had no answer for Washington's air attack in the early stages of the game. Washington jumped out to a 37 0 lead and never looked back. Yes, it was 37 0 in the fourth quarter until UW decided to put it in its second stringers. As mentioned, Coach Sumlin admits that Washington's game plan of airing the ball out over putting the ball on the ground from the opening snap set the tone. And by coming out and throwing it as much as they threw it, and empty sets and, and moving around a bunch, uh, we didn't adjust quick enough there, and we didn't adjust quick enough offensively to not really their scheme, but from a protection standpoint. So, you know, as, as we met yesterday as coaches, we've got to give our, our players a better chance. And um, we got to coach better. And tomorrow we'll hear more from some of the players from the University of Arizona football team. We've got you covered with Arizona football from A to Z with the crazy AZ. I'm Paul Cicala. We'll be right back.